No, no. You should not pursue the closeted guy. He is not gay. <laughs> you guys are just friends and friends do not pursue each other sexually. That's called friends with benefits. And if that hasn't been established, no. And third, put the ball in his court. So number one, he is not gay. If he did not come out as gay and tell you that he was gay, he is not gay. I mean, literally just put yourself in his shoes. We all went through that process of am I gay, trying to figure it out. For me, it was more so coming from a religious basis. I was raised by a minister. I was in a very religious household. I went to a school where being gay was not okay. And I feel like things here are different or things now are different. So it might be with some more like, you know, it might be easier to come out, but I don't wanna get into that. In general, it's a process for ourselves. So you trying to force them out or doing anything that might make them uncomfortable or push them out sooner than they're ready, come on now, it's not fair, it's not right. I mean, we all went through that. Well, I won't say we all, but we have all experienced moments where it's like, we were figuring it out. We were trying to decide for ourselves before we were like, okay, I'm going to pursue this or okay, I'm going to try this because this is against social norms still. Like it's still not okay. It's still taboo. It's still weird in certain spaces. And if you're even watching this video, that person is still going through this process because you can't tell. Just imagine how much they are going through in their own head. You're going through all this stuff trying to figure it out. They're probably still trying to figure it out. So he's not gay to just be friends. Like I said, if you're not a friends with benefits and that hasn't been established and they haven't tried to pursue you sexually, like leave it alone, <laughs> let it be. I think that is the most uncomfortable, weird, and uh, feeling is when a friend tries to pursue you sexually. And I've had this experience not just with my gay friends, because I don't typically have a lot of straight male friends, but not only with my gay friends, but even with my straight female friends where they kind of like were like, yeah, it's very uncomfortable, it's very awkward. So just think about that. Have you ever been in a position where someone that you were not romantically attracted to, did not have any sexual attraction towards, was persistent about trying to sleep with you? You are literally trying to do that right now. That is not okay. That is definitely not okay. In addition to that, I just feel like you should be also investing your energy in folks that are out people that are gay, even though you may not be into them, it's not worth you pursuing someone that hasn't come out the closet because you don't know when they're gonna come out the closet. Just enjoy their presence. Just be with them, be with them as a friend, enjoy the conversation that you have and let that be it. That is enough right now. Like just appreciate that person for who they are, what they bring into your life and the great conversations that you have. I think it's kind of like, a little frustrating for me that I feel like we as gay men almost automatically turn something into sexual. And it's like, we want that. We can't just focus on just being good friends and being there for each other. Even if they are, if there is like a sexual chemistry there or if you are attracted to your friend, why can't you have some type of self-control over yourself and just enjoy that person's presence without having to have sex with them? Put the ball in their court. This is my third and final thing. Like, let them come to you. Let all the assumptions and the attraction that you have be that. Take control, self-control over yourself. Let the attraction just be attraction. And let your assumptions just be the assumptions. Just let them be. Because if they are, they will come out on their own terms and at their own time. In addition, I think you should also think about, let's say they do come out at some point, but they're not like fully out or they're still kind of DL or things like that. Are you okay with that? I mean, let's think about your terms. What do you want? What are you looking for? Because for me, having someone that is closeted was not on the list. Um, that just comes with a lot more stuff than I was ready to deal with. And I wanted someone that was that who knew who they are, that was comfortable with who they are and was happy with who they were and didn't have to hide or feel shame about it. And that is not what I want when I say like, when I say like, figure out what you want, is that what you want? Is someone that is gonna be in the closet that you're gonna have to pretend is your roommate for a long period of time that you cannot take home for the holidays, that you can't bring up to your friends, that you can't take out or go out with? Like, think about that part as well. You might be really focused on just the sexual aspect and pursuing this person sexually, which 
We're sexual beings, we're sexual creatures, I get it, I understand. I do think that we need to dial it down a notch in our community, but what about that part? Like, the other stuff. What is the other reasons why you want to pursue this person and be in a relationship with this person? Is it just sexual, or are you also interested in pursuing something bigger? And think about that. If they do come out to you and they're not out to everyone else, would you even pursue that seriously? How long would you wait? What would that look like? Or would you be comfortable? So ultimately, I just feel like you should give them the space and time and respect that they deserve. I was talking to a straight guy that commented on one of my videos. Um, not the nicest person, but <laughs> what I did learn from it was that they have a lot, a lot of the homophobia that I'm noticing that a lot of these straight men have or the uncomfortability that they have around us gay folks, especially us that are a little bit more feminine. One, they're a little bit confused and it's different and confusing and they're trying to understand it and it's just not their norm. And there's a lot of like shame attached to being kind or nice to feminine gay men. But in addition to that, because that's a whole nother video, we make them uncomfortable and we make them uncomfortable by pursuing them like this so if they have not come out if they have not pursued us sexually and it's not obvious that they're gay and i don't know maybe even you ask them maybe what if that's the thing you just ask them and they aren't gay but you still try to sleep with them that is going to cause folks to become uncomfortable around gay people because i mean that's like what they do to women and we all know a lot of us have good girlfriends and they complain and talk about how men are animals and they make them feel weird at the clubs and they creep up behind them we as gay men are literally doing that to some straight men like that's that's a gross feeling that is not okay and yeah like i said give them the respect space and time that they need just like you loved when folks gave you that space time and respect that you needed to come out and if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. On that note, remember to be the change you wish to see today and take care.